areas of Manipur, as I have said, they are inhabited by the Christian uh, communities, the Nagas and the Kukis. But most importantly, these areas, the hill areas, they are protected as tribal lands via several laws which strictly prohibit outsiders, including the mighty Hindus of the Imphal Valley, from, uh, from buying land and from settling there. So now, how did this difference of administration originate in the first place? Now, for this, we have to go back uh, uh, to 1947, uh, prior to 1947, prior to the partition of Bharat in 1947, the king of Manipur had promulgated two laws. Now, this was for the purpose of ensuring the smooth administration of the Infar Jali and the hill districts. Uh, one of these laws was the Manipur State Constitution Act for people of the valley. And the other was the Manipur State Hill Administration Regulation for the hill districts, for the hill residents. And this was where and how the difference in the administrative setup of both these regions of the state began. And this difference of administration between the hill and the valley continued to be operational even after Manipur joined the Union of India uh, as a full-fledged state in the year 1972. When Manipur was a union territory prior to this, the government body of the hill areas was known as the Standing Committee. But uh, with the promulgation of the two laws, which I just mentioned, those living in the plain areas could no more buy land in the hill areas. So the, the Hindus, basically, they could no more buy land in the hill areas of their own state. After Manipur gained statehood in 1972, the standing committee of the hills was renamed as the HAC, that is the Hill Areas Committee. And it was entrusted with the responsibility of safeguarding the interests of the hill residents of the state. The root of the problem lies uh, in the fact that the current administrative system provides complete administrative autonomy to the elected hill areas committee. So the hill residents of Manipur who are by and large Christian, they have their own share of freedom everywhere in the state with respect to land and resources, unlike the Hindus of the valley. So if included in the scheduled tribes list, the mighty Hindus will be able to purchase land in the hill areas of Manipur inhabited by the Christian Nagas and the Kukis. And at present, under the present conditions, the mighties cannot buy land in almost 90% of the state's territory. But the reverse is possible, as I just mentioned. That means the Christians can come and settle in the Imphal Valley at any time and they can also buy land. So we can see, you know, this has led to a huge imbalance between the rights and freedoms of the Hindus in their own land vis-a-vis -vis those of the Christians. Because at present, the mighty Hindus comprise 42 to 45 percent of the total population of Manipur, but they reside in a very, very small area of the state, which is hardly 10 percent. On the other hand, the hills comprise more than 85 percent of the state's total area, but in the hills, for only 40 to 42 percent of the non-Hindu population resides. So the religious demographic imbalance of Manipur is starkly visible. It becomes more clear when we have a glance at the figures of the census right from 1901 when the Hindu population of Manipur was 96%, but it had fallen to 64% by the year 1949. So there has been a drastic decline in the percentage of the population of the Hindus in Manipur over a period of time. And as per the last census, the census data of 2011, Hindus comprised 41.3% of the total population of Manipur, which was far below 50%. So when we look at these trends, you know, it can be safely assumed that in the forthcoming years as well, the Hindu population of Manipur is all set to decline. But the population of other religious communities, that is the Muslims and the Christians both, is continually on the rise. I think that's all I have to say on this. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.